Litecoin is looking really bullish and is trying to trend change on the shorter time frame. Shall we close our Litecoin short from $60 and start buying Litecoin now? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. If you watched our previous video, we shorted Litecoin once it broke below $60. You can go watch this video, I shared the trade plan before it happened as usual. On YouTube channel, I'll share with you my plans where I'm looking to buy and sell beforehand. In the Rockstar Trading Group, I can post my exits, entries. This was my trade, you can see 59.81 was my short. I shared the plan beforehand and also posted exactly when I'm shorting as well. So again, that was our trade. We had a really nice sell off. Uh, if you watched that video, my first target was this low which was around 15% and secondly my target was around $40 if you scroll to the left this was huge support that's where I took another 50% off I've still got 25% off short on Litecoin now but I'm thinking about closing it comment below what you guys think do you think I should close my Litecoin short and start buying this is the trade plans I'll talk about my long-term plan on Litecoin and my long-term buy zone for Litecoin as you guys know I do think Litecoin will get a huge pump leading up to the next Litecoin half so I'll talk about my trading short-term plan and then I'll talk about long-term as well. So before I get started on the video, comment below, shall I buy Litecoin or sell Litecoin? Comment below and let's see what your thoughts are. And also another thing, I do a live stream every Sunday guys, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button. All these trade plans I'm sharing, all these all my strategy, uh, the, the Rockstar Telegram group, or everything is shared on the uh, YouTube live stream. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification button so you get notified when we are going live. Without further ado, let's get into the video now. So let's quickly talk about why we shorted. I recommend you go watch this video, uh, but the main reason why I shorted was Bitcoin was looking bearish and it was looking to break down. So if you look at you know 7th or 8th of June, if you look at what Bitcoin was doing, Bitcoin was breaking down here. A uh, Litecoin looked weaker and already breaking support. Support. That's why we took a light coin short. Again, this was just a short time frame trade. I was targeting long time target in a thought 30 to 20 dollars is my long term uh, Litecoin short target. That was a really nice trade, and it was also backed by news. Big news for Litecoin was the new privacy feature that Litecoin had. Lots of exchanges, two major exchanges in South Korea, delisted Litecoin because of the privacy features that they have. A uh, lot of other exchanges, you know will allow to use Litecoin but not using the Litecoin Mimbo Wimbo privacy features so that was the bearish news and with Bitcoin dumping it was an amazing short and if you took that trade, put you, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Although I shared that live trade, lots of people still didn't take it. Even in my group where I posted the trade, you know, said, "Oh, I missed it. Can I short Litecoin now?" They wanted to short Litecoin here, but that was the best entry. And I said, you know, as long as we don't get back above 66, it is a short targeting. $50 and $40 and potentially even $30 or $20. I thought Litecoin would stay below $50 and wasn't going to get back above, but now it has got a, got back above $50 and it's trying to trend change. So it is a bit concerning for me if, if you're short Litecoin. If Litecoin gets back above, I'll share with you my plan. Again, I'm asking you your opinion, what you guys think. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking about closing in my Litecoin short. If we get a four hour close above here, this is my resistance zone. If we get back above that resistance zone i'm gonna look to close my litecoin short guys and then um, i'll wait for litecoin to get back back below 50 dollars to short or wait for it to get back above 64 dollars to buy so my trade plan in simple terms i'll touch on news and long term but short term if we get a four hour close or you know hourly pullback and stuff like this i will look to exit so basically my long trade setup if you follow the rocks or trading strategy please make sure you have your own strategy whether you follow ours or someone else's make sure you have your own strategy but if if litecoin starts doing this and gives a pullback to Fibonacci moving average and all that good stuff then I'd look to long it because that will be a long setup and I'd look to close my Litecoin short and potentially even trade it towards 64 but for me I do want to wait for a higher time frame change a higher time frame trend change above 64 65 dollars for me to long so I'm not going to take that long I'll just close my short and wait so that's the uh, exiting short position for entering new short positions and if you haven't uh, some people ask me what a leverage exchange to use. Delta Exchange is an exchange you can look to use. And, you know, they also sponsor our Sunday live stream. So I'm being completely transparent. But you can get some free money deposit bonus. So you can try try their exchange if you're looking for an exchange to short. I've got the links below where you can get that $50 bonus. But yes, if Litecoin breaks below $50, I'm going to look to short again. Whether you hodl Litecoin, this could be a hedge. So if you short Litecoin, it dumps. And you're hodling Litecoin, you're Delta neutral. So you're not losing money. That's what hedging is. If you're holding other cryptocurrencies, 
cryptocurrencies. Litecoin is a short, you know, I would favor it with the bearish news and I'd look to short it. It's a really nice setup with stop, initial stop below there. And I'd look to target these lows and potentially the final target where I'm going to look to accumulate long-term Litecoin position. So that's the trade plan, guys. $50 is key. If we lose it, I'll look to short more. If we start breaking back above, I'll exit my short. And then if it dumps back, back below $50, I'd look to re-enter. Hopefully that makes sense. It's quite confusing if you're completely new to trading and I'll try to explain it in a lot more detail. I have an hour on the live stream, an hour and a half. I can explain to you. We'll see if this plays out. Now let's talk about news. So that was the bearish news for Litecoin. If you look at the latest news, there's not that much bullish news in Litecoin. It's all technical analysis and, you know, price related news. There's not too many news on, you know, Litecoin. The, the key news, which I mentioned was the previously Mimbo Wimbo update, which affected some delisting, which reduces supply and which is not a positive news that hence are short on the last live trade so uh, uh, the one news or narrative that i've tweeted about is that litecoin don't really have that many hedge fund and venture capitalists so if you've been following this youtube channel i, I made a on my previous li uh, live stream i talked about you know a contagion risk of you know luna uh, luna dropping then three hours capital getting liquidated celsius network and uh, not having the money again i'm not going to get too much into it. it took me 20 minutes to explain but basically one uh, luna liquidation made three hours capital lose lo a lot of money which could could get them liquidated which affected celsius and it could have a you know rolling effect on one cryptocurrency to another and and this could make hedge funds sell their positions to basically stay afloat and not get liquidated three hours capital have dumped a lot of their bags you know they own a lot of avax you know obviously luna previously solana and they will be dumping their bags but they don't own as much litecoin so they won't be dumping litecoin in a way that is positive news and if you look at the litecoin btc chart you can follow me on twitter i posted about it it has pumped a lot pumped 50% it's ridiculous to see this huge rally up so that those are reasons why I'm potentially looking to buy Litecoin and you know as a trader you have to be open to changing your bias it's not about you know I'm just going to buy or sell or long 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 you know everyone just keeps buying the dip at $200 and then don't have money to buy the actual dip so it's really important to have a trade plan and I'm happy to change my bias and that is a bullish news what do you guys think is it just a complete random you know narrative that you know YouTubers and influencers are talking about or do you think it's actually something you know got more substance to it? Looking at the and uh, the comments below, some people agree with me. So let me know in the comment section below if you agree with my narrative of you know Litecoin not being owned as much by hedge funds and venture capitalists won't dump as much. So let me know in the comment section below of that news. So those are the two key news or updates or narrative updates for Litecoin. Um, long term, I mean, I said it. If you're not buying Litecoin around here, just unfollow me. Don't be my friend. And I'm I'm gonna bet on it. You know, once we get into there, I'm gonna be looking to accumulate. If we just spike up, I'll just have to buy some. Hopefully, we'll trend change. You know, give me really nice setups and all these positions we bought. Type in Litecoin halving. You'll see my live trades beforehand, and I'll share them again with the YouTube live stream that I do on YouTube. It allows me to share my trades in more transparent way, my buys and entries, e exits, and all that cool stuff. But yes, if Litecoin comes into here i would look to long term by litecoin and i do stand by my uh, my thoughts that litecoin long term towards leading to litecoin halving will get a pump a very long term you know the project needs to survive they need to you know be adopting you know they need to be increasing their litecoin pay that they were doing and we need to see adoption for Litecoin to survive long term, when the next couple of years, I do think Litecoin will have a pump. And around here, I would look to thirty to twenty dollars. I look to accumulate a lot of Litecoin. You know, people call me crazy for buying Litecoin here because we d went down about thirty percent below my entry, but it ended up being an amazing buy uh, in 2018 and again around here. So I'm going to look to do that again. Let me know what you guys think about that buy zone as well. And finally, price prediction wise, I don't really have a price prediction uh, for me in the next few months. I'll say again, this is a price prediction title video. If we start trying to Changing above 64, 65, I would expect Litecoin to hit $100. For long term prediction, um, I, I think, you know, next Litecoin halving would head towards, you know, four or $500, depending on where Bitcoin is. If Bitcoin goes absolutely bonkers, maybe, yeah, 1000 is even possible, but Bitcoin would have to go bonkers. But short time, if Litecoin start trend changing, I'd be targeting, you know, $100 from 65 to 100. If you break down below $50, I'd be looking here to take one last final short position and then looking to accumulate for the next Litecoin halving pump. So that's the video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And if you do enjoy this type of content, do hit that like button. It really helps us out. Get the YouTube algos going. Share this content with more Litecoin people. So hit that like button. If you are interested in the Rockstar Trading Group, I'll leave the links below. You can trial us for less than 30 bucks. But again, if, if you want to do that, that's amazing. If not, guys, 
guys just hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button for the sunday live stream and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much